One of the greatest takeaways I hope you instill is how cloud networking delivers significant leaps forward in terms of reliability, security, scale, and intelligence over other network and device management options that are out there today. Nowadays, many systems can be considered either on-premises or cloud-managed. On-premises approaches to management require significant initial costs to purchase and deploy the relevant hardware and software. And in this approach, server security is stored and managed in-house behind your own firewalls. Whereas cloud-based, on the other hand, is a much friendlier and simpler approach to CapEx spend with ongoing expenses broken down into smaller operational expenses, often monthly or yearly. It's fast to deploy with virtually unlimited scalability and data security relies on the hands of a solution vendor and cloud service provider. Most importantly, you'll learn how fourth generation cloud platforms with microservices based underlying architectures offers the scalability and elasticity to support and manage millions of devices and or clients at a time. We're excited to take you on this course and show you how network and device management is key to helping organizations unlock new analytics, scale faster, and secure and optimize the end user and application experience. So now let's talk about the importance of network management systems. For many organizations, a network management tool is a key selection criteria in the choice of network equipment. If you have a good and robust network management system, it's going to allow for faster deployment of new services and infrastructure devices, will increase the productivity of the IT staff, and it can reduce the ongoing management costs of your network and devices. But what's the strategy behind a network management system? The goal is to deliver end-to-end -end management of network devices. This can be an access point, a router, or a switch, deployed on a single location or across up to thousands or hundreds of thousands of different locations. The goal again is to simplify and automate network operations, whether that be onboarding devices, configurating them, having visibility into key intelligence metrics or analytics, ongoing maintenance, and even troubleshooting. You wanna reduce the total cost of network ownership, but also the amount of time that you need to keep your network up and running. And again, you do want to improve the end user experience and a good network management system can do that. What are some of the challenges associated with network management? Networks are more critical than ever to business operation. Just as you walk into a building and you wanna turn on the light switch and you expect to have light coming out of the bulbs, the same is true for wireless and networking in general. Typically, the actual functionality of the organization, whether it be a school, a hospital, an enterprise business, they do depend on the network and the wireless infrastructure in order to operate. And with that, network complexity is rising as well. Reactive firefighting and stretched resources are also a limiting proactive analysis for a lot of companies, but getting more revenue out of the network investment is essential. And those are all key areas that network management can alleviate if deployed and done correctly.